Hi, hello. I'm here at Myers Homestead Trail, uh, just up above Boulder, and uh, I'm gonna try and catch some fall colors today. Now, I had some higher hopes for today. I was hoping for some nice, contrasty, bright light. And as you can see in the background, um, I don't think we're gonna get that. Uh, so we'll just kind of play it by ear and hope for the best. If we get some cool clouds at sunset, I'll be happy, but mostly I was looking for fall colors. This is one of my favorite spots to shoot this whole trail area. Uh, as you can see, that's one of the big reasons why. There's some really cool color back there right now. I might photograph that. We're about a half mile into the trail, but there's an aspen grove about another mile down that I think I'm gonna try and get. So that's gonna be the goal. And we have a ton of time, whereas even, yeah, we have a ton of time till sunset, about an uh, hour and a half. So I think we're gonna keep hiking and uh, see what happens and hope for the best. Sweet. So this is an old sawmill from what I remember. I could have read the sign, it's right over there, but I'm too lazy. Um, and it looks like the colors are just about to peak. If I came back maybe next week, this would all get really good. So that's something I can maybe do and uh, hope to get the best. Cause right now it's just really, it's good, but it could be better. You know, there's just something about this area with this tree and this tree over here that just always explode with color, but the light just isn't good. I've always wanted to shoot this area, but the lights never quite hit it right. So I'm just gonna keep coming back until it does. We found it, oh, yes, we found it. That is steep, okay, let's go. Whew. Oh, I'm dying. I just had to do the uphill bit twice. I had to set the camera up so that you could see me going and doing the uphill bit. I'm drenched in sweat, I'm tired. Everything tastes like pennies. How does Thomas Heaton do this? I need to get like a girlfriend who's in way better shape than me, who can run up ahead with the camera and record me doing the uphill bit so I don't have to do it twice. I think Gavin Hardcastle is really onto something with that one. Props to you, Photo Tripper. Uh, we made it though, so check this out. Whoa. So we are here at the Aspen Grove and it is looking good. Even without ideal light, um, we're still seeing some glow there and that's really cool. So I'm excited about that. We've got pretty good cloud cover coming up. Uh, so hopefully we'll catch some color depending on if the other clouds cooperate. So I'm happy with this. I'm gonna set up a shot and just kind of do my thing. You know, one thing that I forgot to mention before I started hiking directly uphill, pretty much straight vertical for about 17 miles without stopping, uh, you know, no big deal. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention before I was out of breath and all that is that I'm recording on a new camera here. This is the Sony a7R4. I was able to sell a lot of my old climbing gear and old photo gear that I just wasn't using anymore. I was just sitting on the shelf collecting dust and reinvest that into this. I really wanted to do the a7S III for a while. I was like, wow, that sounds like a really good camera to get. But realizing that like 90% of the stuff I do is photography and that's where almost all of my income comes from, it made more sense to get the photo-centric camera as opposed to a video-specific one, especially if I want to use Sony for shooting weddings and stuff and events where I need two camera bodies. It just made more sense to have another photo Sony body. So that's what I did. I'm really liking it so far. It's pretty great. The eye autofocus has been pretty awesome. Other than that, the video specs are basically the same. 60 megapixels is super nice. I like being able to throw it into APS-C mode, both in photo and video, and get extra reach on even short lenses, because I don't own a long telephoto lens for Sony yet. I just don't have one. The longest I have is an 85 Prime. Usually I don't even use that. I use the 2470. So being able to add the 1.5 times crop onto that is super nice. 
I might use that today, I don't know, I don't think I need it. I'd rather shoot wide with these aspen trees as they are now. But that's just been something I've been enjoying. This is only gonna be the second outing with this camera so far. I just haven't had time. I got it a couple weeks ago and I've just been so busy with work. And I mean, that's why I haven't made any videos really because I work basically seven days a week all the time now. Sometimes I'll get a day off, but I'm too tired and too busy doing other stuff like life stuff like grocery shopping. It's annoying. Anyway, I'm rambling. So let's wait for sunset, hope it turns out and hope I don't start getting eaten alive by mosquitoes. Okay, so let me show you what I got rocking here for an exposure. So we've got these leading lines up here. Um, I've got the aspen trees kind of coming into frame there and I hope I have enough sky so that when it gets cropped out for a four x five, we can still get a good photo. Um, that's the joys of Instagram and the way we post photos now. So I'm just gonna try and compensate for that the best I can. The light is really not looking great right now. Um, it's very flat. And uh, I'm just hoping for the best, so we'll see. Hopefully the uh, sun's not totally blocked out. So the sun's gonna set over yonder, just this whole general region. And the light's looking great. Um, this is one of the clearest days we've had, thanks to you know the forest fires. There's just always smoke. You can always smell the burning, but this is the clearest it's been. Although I did see some red light because of the haze and the sun cutting through it at the beginning of the hike. So hopefully it doesn't come back in. I think one of the best features so far of the R4 is having this little red focus guide telling you where your focus point is. The three, A7 III didn't have that. And it's so nice because it's not gray. It's easy to spot anywhere in the frame. It is so useful and I'm loving that so far. So one thing about waiting for sunset to do this particular shoot is that I'm gonna have to hike back in the dark and I have a headlamp, so it's fine. I may have forgotten to charge that headlamp after my last Moab trip, which I made a video of kind of, and I never let see the light of day. Um, but that's one of those things, be prepared. Uh, sunset's real fast out here and it gets dark, especially when you're hiking through tree cover. So be, skittles, be aware of that. Um, don't worry, mom, I know you're watching this. Uh, I, I, I am alone, but Bill, my roommate knows where I'm at. Bill, I know you'll ignore your phone if I need help because you're playing World of Warcraft right now and I don't blame you. Just let the mountain lions eat me. Wait till the raid is done. That's public service announcement. Other thing, mom, because now I know you're super worried because Bill's gonna ignore his phone. Uh, I am using a GPS watch, Garmin Phoenix 6, maybe a review on this soon, which is tracking my every movement from the car all the way out here. Uh, it's super handy. Uh, so it, it's been tracking everywhere I've been going if I set it up right, which I'm not entirely confident that I did. The thought was there. You know, it never fails. Every single time I get a cool composition that I like, the light and colors go off behind me. Still hoping for the best on this one though. That just looks so good right now, but it's not what I came here for. So I'm gonna be patient and hope that the light will keep continuing this way. Well, you guys, I'm about ready to just say it's not happening. Um, the color was good over here for just, just a couple minutes. It didn't even spread further than like that cloud line. This was all just nothing. So I'm guessing it's just not gonna happen tonight. I'll still wait a couple, another couple minutes. We've got, uh, we've got about three minutes until official sunset. So yeah, might as well stick around a little bit longer, but I'm, I'm betting it's not gonna happen. Bummer. I was really, Really hoping for a victory tonight. Well, that's it. I'm calling it. I don't think it's gonna happen tonight. Um, the color is pretty much all gone. It's past the point where we might get color, as far as I can tell. Uh, not a total bust. I still took some daylight shots, but I just didn't get that super punchy light that I was hoping for. But, you know, that could be expected. That might just be the time of day and where we're located. This might be a better sunrise location. Um, and that's okay, I'm never gonna do that because that sounds like a lot of work. But hey, you don't win them all, you know? Just keep, uh, keep trucking along till we get a good one, and it will happen. I think we got another, yeah, maybe like week of these colors, maybe more, I, I, I have no idea, I'm not a fall colorologist, 
but uh, I'm, I'm hopeful. So now I gotta hike back before it gets completely dark and that's what we're gonna do. So thanks for watching. Sorry that this one wasn't quite as exhilarating as other videos, but uh, if you enjoyed yourself, subscribe, please. Uh, hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment. I super appreciate it. Thank you. And uh, I will see you when I make another video in like six months or so. Peace.